Hi, Mr. Luca. We meet again. But, uh, how is this possible? You're... You're... Lung Fung. <laughs> Sorry for not revealing my name previously. I'm the LaFu's ringmaster, Yen Ching. Mr. Luca, I've had my eye on you these past few days. You weren't aware, but I was in the crowd watching all your matches. I must say, you're a formidable warrior. You're resilient, sharp, and strong. What's even more impressive is your resolve. Every punch you throw shows a courage that doesn't care about winning or losing. That has left a deep impression on me. I've heard about what happened to your planet, so I understand how you need this win. Just one more step, and you'll take Bellabog's name into the history books with you. But as the Lawfu Ringmaster, there are things I must uphold. I don't have a stirring pre-battle speech, Yenqing. Uh, thanks for giving me directions when I was lost. Many have done the same thing for me these last few days. And it's thanks to all of you that I'm here now. <sighs> Do you still remember the lofty aspirations we yelled loudly at the sky? I, Luca, will be the winner! I will defeat Yen Ching! All eyes are upon Luca Strongarm who has finally arrived in front of Yen Xing after overcoming numerous hurdles. Since the beginning of the war dance, the match between Luca and Yen Xing has been the most anticipated one among the audience. Now, this highly awaited showdown is about to unfold before viewers across the cosmos. What will be the final result of this match? Let's watch and find out. Anyone who qualifies for the Ringmaster's Challenge is a respectable warrior. You're a top-notch boxer, just like I'm a top-notch swordsman. The outcome of this match isn't going to change that. Yen Ching, I'll give it my all to defeat you. Likewise. Both fighters are ready! The final showdown! Begins now! These flying swords are swirling around the ring! How will Luca deal with them? Allow me to purge the root of the pro- Yeah! Joining the battle! Attack! There's more to life, eternal. Like until everything burns to ashes! The truth for everything in this world is bleeding. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Keep calm and use your iron fist against your opponent. Do it for me. Dreams do come true. Luca officially neutralizes his opponent's attack. The dumb. The opponent is not leaving any openings for Luca. Luca pulls off another miracle with his bare hands. A flying start. I will claim victory for the myself. Mood is set. Let the sh no begin. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. The truth. Everything in this world is bleeding. Set the scene. Luca's truly a magnificent warrior. And Shing's starting to take this more seriously. Punish evil. He seems to be struggling to land a counter. What is Luca going to do? Allow me to purge the root. Time to cleanse the fill. Take your position. Let's improvise. Some value is eternal. Fight to live! Uh. 
Sword, heed me. You're all in. Same old. Draw the defensive. Really do. Yeah, yeah. Dreams do come true. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. The truth, everything in this world is bleeding. May the foul stench dissipate quickly up your body and mind. Stay in Set to the sea, the flame! Come get me. Shing's about to unleash his signature move. Luka, would you be able to take this? Like fire, I'm so Burns to ashes! Hmm? Through the ranks. Cut through the ranks. <laughs> Your swords are so tough. My iron arm is gone kaput. In this case, I'll stop using my swords. Let's decide who the winner is with our bare fists. <sighs> Ching, are you doing this out of sympathy? I don't need a victory like this, because I have no problem accepting defeat. No, you aren't defeated. Can't you hear? Everyone's cheering for you, Luca. I think that in their minds, someone like you could never be considered defeated. <laughs> Such a moving battle! <sighs> Thanks, Yinqing. In a true fight, does losing even matter? Winning and losing are part of any match. But I gave it my all, and I did it! I kept throwing punches, punch after punch, until the very end. When I go back to Bellabog, there will be another fight waiting for me in the future, and many more battles to come. <sighs> Archie, I tried my best. Just like you, I won. Luca takes his defeat in stride. The audience's passion stays strong. The constant applause is a salute to this resilient Bellabogian fighter. <laughs> in my view, there is no winner or loser in this match. At this moment, the admiration both sides have for each other and the audience's enthusiasm speak for itself. This this is an unprecedented match that goes beyond winning and losing. <laughs> Stop putting the camera at me! Focus on them two kids! <laughs> I didn't expect 
My war dance journey would end in this way. I've never felt so at ease. I think it's time to pack up my things and head home with Lynx and the others. Sorry for disturbing your rest, Mr. Luca. General Jing Yuan would like to meet you. Please, make your way to the seat of Divine Foresight. Me? But I lost the match. Is the General really interested in meeting defeated contestants too? As a Skyfaring Commission staff member, I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that question. Hello, Luca from Bellabog. It is a pleasure to meet you. General Jingyuan, it's my honor to meet you. But I'm not quite sure why you summoned me here to the seat of Divine Foresight. Because of that exciting match earlier. And also because you're the second war dance contestant from Yurilo in the past 700 years. Do you mean... Uh, have you by any chance heard of Igor Haft? <laughs> Igor, what a nostalgic name. I know him, but... Actually, I should say I will always remember him. <laughs> you and he are two of a kind. General, do you know about Igor's experience on the Shinzo? In our hometown, many of us have heard of Igor Haft's heroic tale, but we don't know what he really went through during his journey beyond the sky. Please, you have to tell me his story. <sighs> that was over 700 years ago. At that time, I was young and also serving as the war dance's ringmaster. Igor, a tall and red-haired boxer, appeared in the ring. Every swing of his fist felt like it carried the weight of an entire world. He had a peculiar habit after finishing a match. While turning down all the prizes and gifts, he would talk about his homeland's plight to the spectators, warning them of the anti-matter legion's attacks as he sought help from those who were capable. Just like that, he conquered every opponent and finally stood before me, much like how you faced Yan Ching. He threw his punches in silence, matching me blow for blow. But as the fight was nearing its end, he suddenly stopped and left the arena. Igor, the Alliance leaders have listened to your tale and your homeland struggles. Many Cloud Knights feel sympathy for your situation. Is there anything more than sympathy? They are unable to send forces. We've received a warning signal from the Yaoqing, meaning a major conflict between the Xianzhou and the denizens of abundance is imminent. I understand. Thank you, Jing Yuan. Where will you go next? I'm headed home, because my home needs me. I thought I would surely find a way to rescue it. Or at least someone in this vast cosmos would hear my plea for help. But I was wrong. Eurilo Six's tragedy is insignificant. Disasters unfold in every corner of the universe. If not here, then there. If not today, then tomorrow. <laughs> People have grown accustomed to the disappearance of insignificant stars in the sky. <laughs> While I've been fighting here, my family and friends are bleeding to death because of the Antimatter Legion's invasion. With every fist I threw, their hopes dimmed a little more. It's time for me to go back now. If a child cannot fight to protect his mother when she needs it, <laughs> what right does he have to call himself her son? See you again, Jing Yuan. No. Considering my age, I don't think we will be seeing each other again. I wish you victory, Igor. You too, Jing Yuan. If the opportunity arises, <laughs> I'd love to fight you again. <laughs>
coming back, Mother. I've come out on top in all my fights. But this time, victory is out of my reach. The war dance is held to foster friendships through combat arts. However, I was just a Cloud Knight Lieutenant at that time, powerless to change anything. I couldn't even utter any words of solace as I watched his despondent silhouette grow smaller. And just like that, he left. Time flew by, and then, in the blink of an eye, three hundred years had passed. Pardon my interruption, General. What was the name of the world you just mentioned? Let's send an invitation to that world called Eurelo Six for the war dance this year. Hopefully, his descendants will respond. General, the astral charts of the Skyfaring Commission indicate that this world has been destroyed. <laughs> General? Send an invitation. Even if it is just a wish that won't come true. So, this is why we received that invitation? <laughs> Igor gifted me a keepsake before he left. Is this...? <laughs> we took this picture before we parted ways. Despite feeling crestfallen that day. He still kept a smile on his face. <sighs> now, I'd like to give something to his descendant in return for his gift. Seven hundred years ago, I didn't have the chance to help his home. But it's still not too late for me to step in. If the Everwinter Monument as our witness, I, the Supreme Guardian Branya Rand, hereby announce that the Sienjo Lafu Bellabog Mutual Trade Agreement is now in effect. I've heard stories about Bellabog, where the residents, in their most desperate times, steadfastly maintained the spirit of the preservation, resisting fate until the break of dawn. It wasn't until I stepped onto this land of heroes myself and felt the burn of the perpetual ice on my skin, that I finally realized how solemn the belief of the preservation is, and how great the people struggling there are. From today onward, the Sienjo Lawfu fights alongside you, until the eternal freeze turns into the spring breeze, and the frozen land melts into fertile fields. My old friend, you once expressed your desire to be a long-life species. Because we had a longer lifespan, you thought we would have more time to grow, rectify mistakes, and change the future. You were wrong, Igor. The next punch is always what matters most. For our world, the future is what truly matters. We don't just appear out of nowhere. Each of us comes from the world that was there before we were born. People are like a giant tree, closely intertwined and ever-growing. People shape history. History creates heroes. Heroes inspire the future. And the future brings forth new people. My old friend, your call for help back then has been answered. Luca is the answer. He isn't just a boy. Instead, he's as ancient as your civilization, and he's the embodiment of your real six. <laughs> I should have realized sooner. A civilization can give rise to someone like you, wouldn't be easily wiped out.
Mr. Depard, are you ready? I'm here to return that victory you lent me. Perfect timing, coach! Now that the war dance has ended and Luca has returned to Bellabog, it's time for me to go. I hope so. <laughs> but Mr. Albert keeps saying that I still lack experience, so... I guess I'll have to gain more experience for a while longer. Honestly speaking, these days of participating in the war dance with you have been... <laughs> the happiest of my life. Now that Luca is the hottest rising star in the whole cosmos, he'll definitely have lots of chances to participate in major tournaments in the future. When the time comes, I hope you'll still be his coach, and I'll still be in charge of covering your stories. By the way, this is the issue of the newspaper that features the showdown between Luca and Yan Qing. I bought a hundred copies. This one's for you to keep. Oh no! It's getting late! I'm about to miss my star skiff! I, I should get going. I'll see you next time! <laughs> that works too! Luca can be your coach then! <laughs>